Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. Getting ready for winter time. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. They're at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, loading up on all the rock salt. And it is going to be more expensive this year. And there's also going to be a shortage. So just bear that in mind. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And their telephone number is 631-957-5106. Whether you want your home decorated for the holidays or maybe this is your business or you want it to become your business, give them a call or go to the website at wholesale at uh, liholidaylighting.com. Let's get through, go through the rest of the weekend and into next week because it's next week we're going to be in a gloom and doom type pattern and we're seeing the players all setting up here. First off, for the rest of this afternoon, you'll notice that there are clouds moving through the northeast. You can uh, see the clouds that extend uh, from uh, back in the Great Lakes uh, right into southern New England. Uh, they're moving eastward. This is an upper trough that is swinging east. We're also seeing a bit of a breakout here of some showers and thunderstorms, and we can uh, blame that on uh, a low, the first of uh, three low-pressure areas that are going to be uh, impacting the weather over the next 10 days. And there's still a ton of energy coming into the west. Uh, one from a day or so ago that's well inland. There's another stronger wave approaching the coast. And there's a powerhouse that's coming in for Sunday night and Monday. So all that is going to be playing through eventually into the eastern part of the United States. And we have this blocky pattern. So that makes it uh, even more complex in terms of trying to figure it out. Now, the radar, as of 1 p.m., showing some light showers in eastern Pennsylvania. A lot of what you see in the blue is not reaching the ground. You have to really get into those darker greens on the echoes. So there's not a whole lot of shower activity here that's playing through, but there could be a shower or two that goes by in your particular area from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, down into northern Maryland and Delaware uh, for the rest of today and into this evening. And we're also seeing the beginnings of those showers and storms. And this is the weather system that will be approaching for Sunday night. And is this arc here that runs from southern Missouri, arcs up towards St. Louis, and then goes back down into western Kentucky. And, of course, we mentioned the uh, waves of uh, precip that are coming into the west. And here's the latest one with heavy rains in northern California and on up the coast into the Pacific Northwest. Just want to uh, look at uh, WPC's rainfall forecast for the next seven days. And you'll notice from the northern half of New Jersey, northeastward through New England, it's going to be a wet week when you put it all together. Uh, rainfall amounts of some places several inches or more. You go down from central New Jersey on south, and then the amounts cut off a little bit, uh, generally an inch and a half or less. This is going to be spread out over seven days. So I'm thinking that it's not going to cause any kind of local flooding issues uh, because of the fact that we are spreading all that rain out. And, of course, look at the west continuation showing uh, several to many inches of rain for the northern half of California and on up uh, further to the north. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe today in that area that, that's arcing out across Missouri uh, into uh, Illinois, the north of the area that's developed so far. There'll probably be some more that develops later on today. And then it gets pretty busy for tomorrow. Enhanced risk of severe weather in the middle Mississippi Valley. And that includes a 10% tornado risk. And now we're going to move on to Monday. Monday, the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk up to about New York City, northern New Jersey, just on the other side of the New Jersey, New York state line, back across Pennsylvania, uh, southward down into Maryland and Delaware, all of that a marginal risk and a slight risk from northern Georgia on northward into western Virginia and over into West Virginia. Now, I'm just going to illustrate here what this looks like on the upper air, uh, because you have our trough that is in the east right now. You sort of you see it right there. Uh, there's a cutoff low south of James Bay. And then you got uh, all this energy that is out in the western part of the United States, as we mentioned. And in between all that, 
sandwiched up in Canada is a bit of a blocking high that is uh, north of Lake Winnipeg. And that's going to be kind of the driver here in terms of how these upper lows are going to react in the eastern part of the United States. Our trough moves through on Sunday. It kind of stretches out there, and then another arm flattens. Meanwhile, you've got this energy that moves into the middle Mississippi Valley for tomorrow. And that explains the severe weather there. I think we're going to be fine after this first upper trough moves through tonight, and the day side on Sunday should be okay. But there's some overrunning precip that runs out ahead of that western system, the middle Mississippi Valley system, for Monday, and the day side Monday will be dry. So Sunday night will probably be the time frame when we'll get into a little bit of rain that'll last into the early Monday morning. Then we get a break, and then that system plays out for Monday night into Tuesday. And in fact, that upper low drives down off the coast of southern New Jersey. So we're going to be dealing with an, an ocean low and an onshore flow that's going to set up and last pretty much uh, into the latter part of the week. And then the second energy, and you see it there, uh, down in Arkansas on early Thursday, it really wraps up into a cutoff low in West Virginia and Virginia. And then that sits in the east. It takes a day or two or three to get out of the way. So that could even linger into next weekend. And then we've got another system. The last one in the series is going to head up to the Great Lakes. And while all of this is changing, the upper air is changing as well. Uh, we're starting to get more of a flow out of Canada. So that's going to mean eventually some colder air will come into, will get involved colder for this time of year next weekend and into next week. Uh, in the Pacific, it's changing too because now the trough is out back at 160. So that kind of opens the door for uh, activity to come out of uh, of Canada. Um, uh, actually, I'm sorry, cooler air to come out of uh, of Canada. So let's uh, let's look at the Nam, and we're going to just run it back here, and we'll see what happens uh, for the rest of the day. Of course, uh, again, those scattered showers that are on the radar. Uh, they're not really showing up very well here on the NAM. I just ran it backwards, so now I'm running it forwards. Uh, most of that area actually weakens as we get into this evening. Then uh, we see improvement tonight. Tomorrow will be one of those days where it starts with sun and probably finishes off with clouds. You can see that overrunning precip that's running eastward. <clears throat> there. Uh, this is by tomorrow, 5 p.m., with some showers into northeastern Pennsylvania, most of those are going to go to the north. Uh, if you're uh, the southern half of Pennsylvania, most of New Jersey uh, will probably miss out on this. A couple of areas will be that will get clipped with some showers or a little period of rain Sunday night into Monday morning will be the Hudson Valley and maybe Long Island back to about New York City. That goes to the north. And <clears throat> what we have is a front right through here. It, it initially it advances northward and then it drops back southward. Here comes your low with rain from Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, you can see that rain actually arrives during Monday night after midnight. Low pressure starts to develop offshore. And then we have rain on and off through the daytime Tuesday as that ocean low takes over. And of course, again, the onshore flow uh, that will be uh, coming in, uh, winds coming in from the east, that low Takes a while to get out of the way. Here comes the next one under the block. <clears throat> you see it there for later next week. We'll probably catch a bit of a break from the rain later uh, for Wednesday into Thursday, but the onshore flow is probably going to keep it cloudy. And then we'll get into more rain on Friday, Friday night. And here's the low for the rest of the week that is just going to take forever uh, to get out of the way. So next weekend, which earlier looked like the things were going to move along. But if we wind up in this blocky pattern like this, uh, we may see this linger for a while. And then gradually, once it finally does move out, there'll be uh, chilly air. You start to see actually even some snow being generated around the Great Lakes there and eventually over into uh, parts of western New York. It's not truly cold air because you see the snow is actually mixed with rain. And as far as temperatures are concerned, uh, today struggling with the clouds, upper 50s into the and some places into the 60s and then as we uh, head on uh to mon uh tomorrow it'll be mostly in a low range of low to mid 60s because the sun will be able to heat it up just a little bit monday in the 60s 
uh, because we'll be in that warmer air for a brief time. And then after that, the rest of the week will probably good, it's going to be raw with temperatures uh, at best in the 50s each day. Weather in five brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. 631-957-5106 is the phone number, the website liholidaylighting.com. And Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town on anything you need to get you through this upcoming winter. And the website there, omnitruevalue.com. No Joe and Joe weather show today, but we'll be back Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time to go through everything and set you up for the week ahead. So we hope to see you then.